to continue, let's now assign a live load case over these two slabs, so we might then perform the corresponding analysis. Nonetheless, and before we can do that, it will be needed to first divide these slabs into several sections. Being that the smaller the sections, the more precise the load's calculations will be. For instance, here we find a set of predefined combinations. I'll choose the one for steel frame design. I'll just wait for the process to finish. And here are then the new load combinations. So let's close this window, and continue. In this case, by assigning the recently added combinations to the slabs. And so, here we've the load now assigned to both slabs. Thus, we can continue and divide these slabs in several smaller components. I'll choose the first of them. Go to the Edit menu. And inside Edit Areas. Choose the Divide Areas tool. In this area, we can actually specify the number of times that the slab will be...